Let's travel the land and let's spawn our custom entity inside of the world. Oh, Ravy finds us back in Teletoon once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding our custom entity to the world generation. Now, this is actually incredibly straightforward. This works for both GeckoLib and non GeckoLib entities in theory. So you can follow this tutorial, you know, basically whether or not you have GeckoLib entities or not. However, this is incredibly easy. We need one class in the gen package over here. So we're going to make a new mod entity generation class over here. And what we'll do is we'll make a new public static void. We're going to call this the add spawns method. And this is going to have, well, two interesting things. A biome modifications, once again, add spawn. Here we want to add a biome selector. So in what biomes this is going to spawn, we're going to say include by key. And I'm just going to say maybe the biome keys dot savannah. And I, honestly, I think that that's fine. We're going to spawn it in the savannah. The spawn group is going to be creature. Now, what is going to spawn? The mod entities dot tiger. We're going to make a weight of, let's say, 35. That's going to be okay. Minimum group is one and maximum group is, let's say, two. And that is it. There you go. That's that's pretty much all that we need. Now, there's another thing that we want to add, and that is a new spawn restriction. So the spawn restriction is a little bit more complicated, but the general idea is that if we add a spawn restriction dot register, we want to add this to the for the mod entity dot tiger. The location of this is going to be there not no restriction, but we actually want to say on ground because otherwise the tiger entity could spawn in the sky which is definitely not something you want to do because then it's just going to, you know, basically just like die on impact, which is not quite what you want to have happen. And then we want to have a height map type. We're going to choose motion blocking no leaves. I am still not 100% sure what the what the type of no leaves means. I think it's something about it cannot spawn on leaves, basically. That's the general idea. And then also on no motion blocking blocks, basically, so that it can move. And then there are animal entity colon colon is a valid natural natural spawn over here. This is just going to make sure that all of the blocks basically animals can spawn on and there is enough light level for them to spawn on. That is genuinely all that there is to it. You can take a look at the spawn restrictions for some examples. I believe in the spawn restriction itself. Yeah, there you go. So here are all of the different spawn restrictions for the vanilla entities. Highly recommended to take a look at that. There's a lot of stuff in here, uh, so that can really just be benefit you. But if you got this, you can then go to the mod world generation class. If you have this, right, if you've done it like me, then you can just say mod entity generation, add spawns, and that is it. If you've not followed the previous world gen tutorials, that's totally fine. You can just take this add spawns method and just call it directly in your on initialize method in the mod initializer in your main class, basically. And that's all you need to do. So let's go into the game, search for Savannah, and see if we can't find our tiger. All right, finds us in the game, and we're in a Savannah biome, and there we go. We already have a tiger right here. We have some more right there. Absolutely amazing. We have another one right there. So, I mean, that's, yeah, now now the tigers are going to spawn in the Savannah biome. That is absolutely freaking awesome. To clarify the weight right here, by the way, this is basically, the idea here is that the weight is dependent on all of the different mobs that might spawn in the Savannah. So if there's another mob that spawns with a weight 35, then there's a 50% chance of either of those spawning. That is the general idea of the weights, right? So the higher the weight, not only the more tigers are going to spawn, but also the less likely it is for anything else to spawn. So do keep that in mind when choosing a weight. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So yeah.